All right, howdy boyos, and welcome. Welcome to Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. I have been playing this game for the last 30 minutes, and I'd like to think I finally have an idea of how it works. Basically, if you've ever played the old Mountain Blade games, which I haven't, there, as far as I'm aware, there was a game mode where you had this giant campaign map, and you had your army, which you could roll around in an RTS-style map, and if you engaged in battle, you would be pushed or put into, like, a first-person perspective, and then you could influence the battle as, like, the general or the lord or whatever, and, you know, tell your men, give them orders, and if you won the battle, you'd grab loot, and with that loot, you can do different stuff. Now, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare is that, but with guns, and set in, like, some sort of post-apocalyptic, but there's no zombies, as far as I know, um, post-apocalyptic, like, Eastern fake Europe sort of scenario, where there's, like, AKs and M4s, and I've seen lots of different guns already come by, and I figured I would probably play about 20-ish minutes or so of this. Um, it is in a very, how do I say this, maybe early stage. As you can see, the bottom right, it's version 0.1. Um, it's definitely a bit rough on the edges, where it, you know, let's say, for example, translations or the way that some sentences are built up. I mean, I'm not really one to talk, being, you know, not American or English, but there's definitely some places where it's like, oh, you could have spelled that differently. So it's a very early build, uh, but I appreciate the guys behind uh, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare sending me a code, because I do see where they're going with this, and... I'm not being paid to do this video, they just gave me a free copy of the game, which, I mean, I guess it's sort of paying, but, I mean, I wasn't forced to do a video, but I wanted to do one, because I think, with a lot of work, and, you know, patches and updates, this game could become a game I will definitely play more for my channel. It's, like I said, it's very rough, very raw, um, and, I, honestly, I would like to hear your feedback. This is not going to take over my channel, I'm not going to become a Freeman Girl Warfare channel, but I'm going to probably play it for, like I said, 20-ish minutes. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it, because it's actually been quite fun. It's pretty detailed, to the point where you can uh, trade... I'll have to show you the interface, but it's, it's pretty detailed. So let's just jump right into a new campaign. And the cool thing about this is, is that you can actually... Uh, if I go full screen here... There you go. Uh, you can actually select your own flag, and as you can see, you can upload your own logo soon. So for now, we'll call ourselves the Yeet Army, and I think that we will be the sunrise in the new world. I think thought that was a good flag. Although, what does... Hmm... I guess that... No, actually, this is a nice one. I like this represents the Yeet Army better, because it's got, like, the upside-down Y-esque thing, you know? Like, the, the bottom of the stick of the Y would be right here. I don't know, whatever. Alright, so we're on the world map right now. We have our Yeet army right here. And um, the world map, as you can see, is actually quite big. We can rotate it around. And uh, there's definitely quite a few things on the map. I'm not really sure if there's going to be more or if this is the entire map at release. Um, but the, the map is pretty big. You can see a couple of cities and the number next to the city resembles their military or army size, I can only assume. Now, before we're going to go into a battle, preferably with these bandits over here, I'm going to show you uh, the system that I was talking about earlier. So we have the info screen right here with all the other factions that are around, a quest page, which pretty simple, just capture 10 towns and eliminate all these factions, and a report, which isn't really important right now because we're still at 100%. Then we have our party tab. This is where it gets interesting. We can see our party size. Here we have... Two squads of five, one armed volunteer squad, and one FCA recruit squad. Now, these guys, you can see their weaponry, you can see their armor, their experience, their population, their wage. You have to pay them, because in the end, if you can't pay your units, they might start rebelling, etc., etc. Um, you can upgrade these squads when they get to another experience level. Um, and obviously, with a new upgrade come you know better weapons, more armor, more speed, but also probably as I can only assume, a higher daily wage. Now, last but not least, and this is where it gets very interesting, and I have never played those Mountain Blade games, and I should 
say that because I've never, I've never actually touched any of them. Um, but you have your character's inventory here, the guy you are personally playing as. So you can see you have ammo, bread, beer. I'm not even sure what half of these things do. I'm assuming that's what the food is up here. But you can give your character better weapons. So let's say you beat those bandits, you find $4,000, you go to a town that's friendly or at least neutral to you, and you go and trade, and you buy an AK-47 for your guy with ammo, you can give your guy an AK-47 or better armor or a helmet or different grenades. And so your character will also progress with your army. So you need to make sure your army gets paid, it stays up to, you know, its manpower. But you can also, and you should also probably, you want to upgrade your actual command or your, your guy you're controlling. Because it's going to be awkward shooting guys with a G18 or whatever it is, a Glock. It's going to be awkward shooting guys with a Glock when they're all armed with fully automatic uh, 249s or AK-47s, etc, etc. We also have a attributes and skill set level over here. Let's see, I've actually not even looked into these that much. We can get five more health right here. Uh, one, sure, and then... Ooh, I like the experience getting, so let's do two in here. And let's do an extra point for health. Now, under skills, we have five skills, and I'm assuming we can see our own experience here. And I can only assume that we're getting more experience when we do battles, and when you reach this level, you get probably an extra skill or an extra attribute. Um, so we have five skill points we can give away. Um, I remember navigation was a good one. Um, hmm. We have maximum health points. Eh. First aid. That's a good one. Reduces the KA rate of, of friendly soldiers. Ooh, I want this too. And then we should probably take both of these. So we're going to go for a, a very supportive role with more map speed and uh, very medically based and squad based stuff. So because I, I want my soldiers to be the people that fight, obviously I can back them up with my pistol. But initially, considering I have uh, guys armed with AKs and SKSs, it looks like. I want them to be the people up front, and I'll be like the commander says, yes, go on, my troops in the back. All right, well, uh, honestly, let's just get into a fight. I think if I check the, this is the Atov info tab. They are neutral to us. <laughs> Their military strength is 705,234. Don't know what that number means, but let's compare it to our own number. <laughs> We're at 5,584. So they are like 30... I can't do math right now. But they're a lot, a lot better than we are at the moment. So there's no point even trying to bother them. However, I do think uh, we can go in here and take a quick look at some systems. So we have go to the hospital. We can attack them, which we shouldn't obviously be doing. We can trade, recruit, or we can leave. Obviously, uh, we can recruit soldiers here. So here's my money. We can oh god, that's a very that's a lot of money. We can recruit some more armed volunteers or maybe some more mercenary militia. You know what? Why don't we get some mercenary militia? Ooh, these guys look decent. They got M1 Grands, it looks like. Uh yes. Okay. And we can trade. And now we have different dealers. So this is your own inventory system. So I oh my 50 cal magazines? God damn, what is the weapons? Oh, sorry, I just scrolled this one. What's the weapons here? We got AKs, we got AR 15s. Oh, we got um, AS Vals, MP5s. This looks like a Tavor, or it could be something else. This looks like an M19. It's kind of hard to see in these pictures. That's definitely a, a vector. I don't even know what the hell this is. RPG warheads? Oh my god, okay, that's one thing. We can go check the equipment dealer, and again here you can buy armor for your character. Now I don't have that much money left after, you know, just paying for eight hundred dollars for a uh, you know a new part of my army. It's kind of sucks. Like I would have liked to buy a helmet. At the same time, all the things are really really expensive. There's no real point. And then also there is a merchant where you can buy food and supplies, and I think also stuff in some towns. Some stuff is worth more money than it is in other towns, so you can sell. Um, let's say here, so this guy will pay 131% for coffee beans, so you can buy them somewhere and then go here and trade them back in. Anyway, let's go fight some of these rebels, or looters, whatever. I'm actually kind of excited to see a battle. I've only seen one, and, um, 
it was interesting to have the RTS aspect, uh, aspect where you can press the map and send your soldiers out, or you can fight yourself. And obviously, I only have a pistol, so I don't really want to do that. All right, so we have four squads we can deploy. They have 13 men on a field. Um, this is our deployment area, as far as I'm aware. Let's set these guys out. So we have FCA. Oh, I should. We have armed volunteers. I'm in position. We have FCA recruits, and we have armed volunteer squad. Get into position. Now the game has already started. It's kind of the only downside of this game. So we're going to send our guys forward, and now we're going to check out the actual map. So this is a bit laggy. I should say that it is a bit laggy for me sometimes. I am running this on the best graphics possible, but I've noticed not a big difference between graphics, uh, as in. Uh, it's kind of stuttery sometimes, but then again, it is a very early alpha. I think I showed you it's like 0 0.1 or 0 0.11 version right now. So we got our men following up. And the cool thing is I can give them different orders. I can click here and give them charge, fire, well, proceed with, proceed with caution. Um, I think they have to proceed with caution on right now. I'm not really too sure if that's the case. But um, I got to give it to, to the people who sent me this. I'm usually not really into these kind of games, but so far... What I've seen and what I've played a little bit, it's actually been quite entertaining just seeing um, my men take out enemies. And then I'm a, I'm a person who loves the whole, I love the whole back end of this. I love setting up the troops and giving them weapons and upgrading units. It's just, it's a lot of fun. Also, I'm trying to find out where they're shooting at. Oh, they're right behind us, okay. Send our guys after them. There we go. Who's shooting at me right now? I just want enemy over here. There's a whole squad over here, that's why, okay. There's only nine bandits left. Move, you idiot. Okay, I kill the thug. You can see the kills on the right side. I just got another guy killed by one of my squad members. That's another guy down. There's only six enemies left. I like how it goes for... Oh, what? Where? What? Where? I'm looking for the red dots on the map. I don't see them. There we go. Okay, now let's go... Let's move into this territory over here. Since this is where I expected them to be. Oh, they're already spotted over here, apparently. None of these guys fired their gun. Where? Hmm. Anyway, um, I, I'm very inter interested to see what you guys think of, of a game like this, or of this game in particular. So let me know in the comments section. Uh, should I play more of this? Are you... Indifferent do you think like what could be improved? Just let me know in the comment section because I'm pretty sure the people that made the game are gonna be reading the comment section as well as of course I will and I'm very interested to see what you guys think because it's definitely a game that um, In my opinion has some replayability versus other games that I've played for a long time now and I'm kind of Iffy about uh, or just like I don't know. I'm not really like into playing them anymore I could see me not me. I could say almost like a pirate. I could see I could see myself me self eh? I could say, I could see myself, it's hard to speak English today. I didn't have my coffee yet, I'm sorry. I could see myself playing this game for the near future, just to uh, see how far I go with uh, the Yeet army. I'm very interested to see where it goes in general, and I kind of just want to see how I can upgrade my guy, and if I can get like a minigun or a 50 caliber sniper rifle, because I mean there was 50 cal rounds. I'm just interested to see what kind of other guns they have available for us. So far, though, we haven't really found any enemies here. 
Uh, there's a fast forward button, I think, which is F8. So letting my guys look for... Oh, they, they spotted them over here. They're wrecking them right now, however. Oh, they spotted them right over there. Oh, we already won. Never mind. I didn't even do anything. Okay, we did lose zero guys. I killed three people. And we got uh, lots of materials, including a shovel and ammo. Shotgun ammo, let's take all this. We got money. Nice. Our first victory. Now, if you could stop moving. So, let's take out our party. We should probably pay... Oh, maybe we already did that. Maybe that's something that happens automatically. I guess they do have all have 100% morale. Um, can we upgrade any one of these guys? No, these guys are almost upgradable. So let's do uh, let's do one more battle. Let's not fight these guys though, because we're a friend. Oh, these are also special forces or whatever. That three elite infantry squads. Uh, let's look for a group of uh, bandits we can just attack and get rid of, and then uh, I guess we'll save the game and I'll see what you guys uh, guys think of it. So, inventory, actually. Let's take a look. Hmm. Can I do anything with this? No. Can I do anything with this? No. Nope. I do have enough ammo. I'm not really sure. I mean, I can just put some more clips in, honestly. I might as well just have enough ammo to fight everyone. We even got some 5.56. Five, we have linen. I'm pretty sure we can sell most of these things. Oh, nice. We got an extra attribute and two more skills. Let's sell. Uh, hmm. Let's do looting. That's not bad because we'll get more money. And then we'll do armor. Hmm. Inventory. Running. All right, we'll do that because I'm going to be sprinting a lot. And then uh, we'll do another point for constitution. Sure. So uh, let's go fight these looters. I do like how um, these games... Oh, God, these guys have, like, three stars, whatever that means. I do like how games like this, it's like you start off with basically trash. You have, like, a you know, a couple of guys are basically doing nothing, and they have a couple of trashy guns. But eventually, maybe a couple of hours into a campaign or a session, you have access to guys... I'm assuming this means veterancy or gives them a bonus or something. And then you run around with this army that basically no one can beat. And then you kind of like, you know what? I'll just go in and, uh, you know, destroy these fucking nerds with, uh, you know, minigun armed troops or whatever. I have no clue what to expect from this game, honestly. But I, I'm just really excited for eventually when it gets to that point. Let's deploy all of these. I'm in a position. I'm in a position. And this unit right here. I'm in a position. All right, spread I'm out again. And let's stick, let's stick with the FCA recruits, I think, which is the guys in the green. So we need to close the screen and we're going to be moving. Let's pull up my pistol, my pistol. Also, if there's RPG warheads, there has to be RPGs somewhere. So this could be uh, interesting to just lob RPGs or grenade launchers at uh, enemies. So we have AK armed guys here. This game does look pretty good for a Unity game. I'm running this on beautiful settings, I think it's called. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm running this on beautiful settings, I think. Uh, let's go there. Go here. Go there. All right, we'll go with these guys. I do feel like these guys are my bodyguard now. Like I'm an important person to have to protect, but the Yid army is very important. All right, we're moving on. Shots, that's fine. They have spotted contacts somewhere over there. I just hear contacts. I don't see the people. Let's hope we didn't lose anyone. I haven't not yet lost not yet lost anyone, and I prefer to keep it that way. Why don't we move here? Opening fire. Really hoping. Let's go. Let's charge. Just okay. I want to be there quicker. Come on. I'm not sure where this fighting is going on. You hear people for sure. 
Okay, so these are like the different orders. You got cease fire, fire at will. God damn it. My arrow was in the way. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They're just exchanging fire, but no one's been killed yet. I have to be over this horizon somewhere. I hear shots. I'm just gonna charge. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's fucking baller. Come on. Push him back. Boy, oh, here comes a grenade. Grenade. Another grenade. Pull back. Oh, it's all their, it's all their company. almost like that scene from Band of Brothers where they're in the Netherlands and uh, they're like shooting at two or three guys in a field and then suddenly a whole other company it's like it's all their company comes over to Burham that's like probably one of my favorite scenes and most recognizable lines for Band of Brothers in my opinion I love that one it's so good I've, I've probably said that a billion times in uh, in while playing other games these guys are all dead uh Send these guys over here. Everyone can just go ahead and charge. I don't think I can loot these guys on a battlefield. Oh, I hear contact. All right, let's send our guys over here. I did throw all my grenades, but I think it was worth. We're just charging into the fray right here. Let's go. I killed someone. I leveled up. I leveled three. Hey, there we go. I got seven kills that game. So let's take all of their stuff, including a load of money. Uh, we'll close this, and then we'll take a look as we can upgrade some units right now. I'm actually actually having a great time. All right, so we have nothing, nothing. Oh, wait a second. I can't upgrade any of these guys. I was really hoping we'd upgrade uh, some of these guys. Now I kind of want to play one more game. It's because, okay, now we'll do one more battle because these guys are nine points from leveling up. These guys are a hundred points, 126, whatever. And these guys are like 24 points from leveling up. However, myself, I leveled up a couple of times. I do have some more stuff. Uh, let's put in some more towards, let's do like armor and vitality and attributes. We'll do another one here for low, for, um, damage now let's go back to the town to this to full speed and we'll go back to slow speed sorry i just uh, i've only just discovered that f8 and f7 are uh, buttons you can play with so let's go back to the town and buy ourselves uh some weapons for no that's the wrong button my apologies actually let's go to merchants first and get rid of Sell, 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 uh, sell. What do I do with this? Is this money? No. Nope. Okay. Well, sell, sell. What is this? Cigarettes, whatever. Flashlights, grenades. I can use that later. A map, shovel. No. Get rid of all this stuff. Linen. Let's get, not get rid of too much here, but I guess we can get uh, some extra money from that. And including the shovel, I'd like to get rid of that. And maybe a pack of cigarettes. Let's see what we get. Okay. So now we have quite a lot of money. We could either recruit some people. Although I think I'm fine right now. It'd be nice to get one of these mercenary rifle squads. But let's stick with actually getting myself a gun. Because this pistol is uh, its getting kind of old. No? Why do I keep clicking on the wrong thing? Here you go. Weapons. All right. We have an AK. All right, well, I guess I grossly miss under... Oh, that's a lot of money. Oh my god. These are all so expensive. That's not too bad. It takes 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter ammo. This takes my 9 millimeter ammo. Let's grab this and this, 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 and then deal. And then let's go to inventory. Let's close this, sorry leave inventory 
there. And now we can sell the pistol, get a lot of money for it. And these mags should be fine. It does take a lot more capacity. Maybe we can just put all of these things in here. Take that frag. And then go back into the town. Trade. Um, what? Sure. Deal. Is there any like 9 mil ammo that I can buy here? That's 556, five, AK. Nah, I got all the 9 mil I could. Alright, so I think that's not a bad deal. Let's actually grab recruitment. Hmm, I could grab another armed volunteer squad. Screw it, why not? Leave. There we go. Now we have a large group of people. Let's go look for some more bandits. There's actually a town of bandits over Oh, here. Hello. Oh, there's actually a large group of bandits over here. Let's, let's go fight some of these guys. I'm not fast forwarding because I don't want to get screwed into stuff. And there we go. My relationship with the bandits has been decreased to minus 200. So now after this game, for sure, we'll actually have access to upgrades for my units and then i hope i can deploy these yes okay okay so let's send them around like that and then we'll just look for contact and let's take a look at our gun because we sh oh yeah let's get maybe we can buy scopes i have no clue i have not invested enough time into this game to realize if i can or not but i'm excited to figure out this is actually this is, oh, there's a sort of lasery esque side. So this takes place in like the very near future, as far as I'm aware, like a post-apocalyptic Eastern Europe or something. I might both totally be wrong in that. I hope I'm not. If so, I'm sorry, uh, devs, if I misrepresented your game. Uh, let's go here, here, here. Let's go with this squad because they're all by themselves, and that's obviously something I shouldn't do too much, considering there is 18 enemies and they can roll up right on 18 bad guys. Um, but I do have an SMG now, so I'm kind of excited. And uh, it, it, there's something in me that's like very fulfilling that I'm like moving up into the ranks going from a pistol to now a, a vector and then at some point I'll probably walk around with like a sniper and an RPG and that would be one of my more favorite or wanted loadouts because I'm one of those nerds that love sniper rifles, I'm sorry. Uh, let's send them over here, there, there. And then there. All right. Yeah, it's six. But I'm not sure what happens when the timer runs out. Maybe you just lose or win. I have no clue what happens when the timer runs out. They're still uh, they're very cautious in open ground, or at least some of them are. But then when they get to the actual open, they start moving because it's obviously dangerous to be here. Are you guys gonna move? You should. All right, let's go, guys. Come on. You guys, you guys should move. There you go. Scared there for a second. These are probably my best guys. But I'm very excited to see what I can upgrade after this round and uh oh, battle. Sorry, not round. And see hopefully we'll actually be able to fire my gun today. I've yet to see an enemy. Uh, oh, that's maybe because the deployment zone. Well, the deployment zone didn't really mean anything the last couple of times we did this. No, actually, let's keep them here. So just be safe. There we go. Uh, oh, here. I lost them for one second. Does look pretty badass. Especially that last battle where... They were like charging through the field, opening fire, running at them with their AKs and their SKSs. That was pretty damn baller. Now, I really don't want to get flanked, but I'm going to just keep assuming that the red zone means that it's their deployment area. As much as the green zone means it's my deployment area. So we're going to have to go from that, because I have no clue. So far, though, we yet have to spot... Oh, we have enemies, apparently. Where... Not really sure where. Oh, I hear firing. Never mind. Oh, they're right here.
All right, well, we've not taken out anyone. We've not lost anyone either, so that's okay so far. Shots are getting closer. Oh, we're getting closer to shots. You can see it either way, technically, I guess. There's no one here yet, though. God damn. Okay, there's a squad. There's like two squads over there. Get into position. This guy's charging now. Enemy spotted. Oh, they're right there in the forest in front of us. Proceed with caution. Go. Oh, did you see that? So I said proceed with caution instead of, well, it was one guy's going insane, but instead of going forward like that, it just started going backwards. Also, we're charging over the field right now. We got enemies right here. Obviously, I'm using a SMG that's not supposed to be used at this range, I'm assuming, so that's why it's not really going as planned, probably. Uh, let's send these guys over here on charge, and these guys need to charge forward here. There. Let's go! We got- okay, we lost one guy, but they lost six. We're charging. Nice, we lost another one. We lost we lost one ourselves too though. It's okay, it happens. Are they like really close? Oh shit! I don't see these guys. They're like really close here though. I'm just trying to suppress. I don't know if it's doing anything or not. Oh, they're like right here. Charge. I want to get an SMG kill really bad. Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm having trouble finding these enemies. Maybe we'll... Oh, hello. Are you in an... Oh. I don't know if any fire is turned on, but... I would have totally front and fired this guy. Nice! That looked. Oh, we get. Crap, we have like 30 seconds to kill everyone here. Right there, right there, right there. There's a whole squad. Let's charge this. Let's go! There's guys behind me. We need to kill five more. Four more. Let's go! They're charging right next to me. Four more. There's eight Target seconds delayed. left. We're not making this. Requesting immediate support. Oh, their, their location has been revealed. Okay, that's how that works. All right. Well, let's keep running. One more. One more. Where are you at? We're walking up on them right now. We're charging forward. We're sprinting while reloading, or reloading while sprinting. Sorry, well, both works, I guess. We're about to run right on top of this guy with the vector, so he is dead. Where are you, though? Where are you? Is he behind this rock or something? There we go. All right, so we lost two guys, but now... Ooh, that's good. Actually, I don't need RPG warheads, but sure. Um... Let's take a look at the upgrade system, and then we'll call this a video, and then let me know if you guys want to see more. So first, uh, we need to refill, and refill again. So then we can upgrade all, basically all of these. I don't even know, this might be able to upgrade twice. So first, let's pay our troops. And let's take a look. So we have the ability to upgrade them to a mercenary militia squad. Woo, that looks baller. And we can upgrade them again. Now they look badass. And then we have Mercenary Militia Squad to Mercenary Rifle Squad. Which is, uh, oh, basically, oh, it's the same as these guys. They should get this. Oh, they got grenade launchers? Nice. That's awesome. They got an RPK? That's awesome. That's actually really, ball these guys look baller, man. Come on. All right, these guys are the guys I must have bought new at the town. And then we have FCA Recruits who can be FCA Rifle Squad. What's their difference here? We have, uh, let's take a look between these two. So their armor is, their attack is more. Mm, they're also, okay, so these guys are better, but they also make them into an FCA Grenadier team? 
God, yes, yes. These guys actually look like pretty regular army to me. These guys look like a police force. Um, and then you have these guys who are like, uh, your uncle and your grandfather take up the guns to fight the government. But these guys actually look, look sort of legit. So, um, let's go save the game. And then I will, uh, definitely check out this game whenever you guys, uh, let me know if you want to see more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers.